It was a long time coming. A case the Medina community has not forgotten about to this day. Yeah, trustee went missing. Then his body was found in a lake. Authorities said they found no evidence of foul play, but the victim's family and the community were not buying it. So the case was moved to an outside agency, and now tonight, News 5's Amanda Van Allen has the findings. The Brian Macron case was transferred to BCI about two years ago, and today the Medina County prosecutor released the findings. But News 5 spoke with the family and they say they are still not happy. The report is 23 pages long, but in short, the case is now closed. As stated in the report, quote, there was no new incon incontrovertible evidence discovered indicating other persons may have been invo involved in the death of Brian Macron, end quote. The report starts at day one in 2016, when authorities were called to a bloody scene at the Lafayette administration building. Brian Macron's office was trashed, blood everywhere. According to the report, authorities believe it was staged. The Lafayette Township trustee's body was found two months later in Chippewa Lake. The medical examiner confirms in the autopsy that while there were numerous wounds, most were superficial in nature, and none were fatal in and of themselves. The medical examiner found his death to be inconclusive, and that ruling still stands. But there are so many questions still, like why was there no water in Macron's lungs if he was found in a lake? If he had expired on the shoreline, when that lake thawed, it's traditional, it's quite common to have a floodplain there, to have uh, excessive water, and he could have easily washed into the lake from there. Again, that's a theory. Everything presented at the news conference today was stuff we already knew a couple years back. The difference is now the case is closed, so the public has access to most of the evidence. I am trying to make this report available to you today in the sincere hope that it can bring some closure to the community and some finality to the Macron family. The family of Macron sent News 5 this statement, quote, we don't agree with the findings because there are so many inconsistencies and unexplained actions by the sheriff's office. I think many of those will finally come to light by the Invisible Ships podcast. The creators of that podcast spoke with me right after the news conference. The investigation, yes, is getting close so we can get it released, but it's definitely not closed in the public eye. And they are still not convinced no one else was involved in Macron's death. So basically it was like a 40 minute press conference saying we know everything we knew in 2016, basically. And we're still saying the guy that was found in a lake with no water in his lungs somehow did it himself. Yeah, and the whole idea of the scene being staged. So they're basically implying that Brian Macron committed suicide, but staged his office to look like a murder and then was able to hide his body in the lake. So I don't know what to make of that. The podcasters say there are at least three key people who would not speak to them about this case until this report was open to everyone. Now they say they are going to comb through all of this evidence and produce some new episodes soon. In Medina, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.